How's it going everybody? It is me, Chris here. Now today what I have for you is a little bit of a tutorial that I think you guys might like. Now this is for um, green screening, as you can tell by the title, green screening in iMovie. Now this feature is also available to be done in Final Cut Pro, uh, Final Pro I mean that's Final Cut Pro 7, 10, uh, as well as After Effects. So you can definitely do this in many different applications, but I figured that iMovie is the most common consumer application to be used, um, so I figured I'd make this video. Now, if you are interested in seeing how to use it, how to do green screening in Final Cut Pro 10, I've already made a video on that, and I will leave a description, uh, link to that right about here. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now, this is intended to make your productions look much more professional and fun um, and it's very very simple to do so let's jump on into the screencast and I'll show you all exactly how this is done alright guys so now that we have iMovie all opened up I'll go through and just show you exactly how to get the uh, perfect green screen out of this now as you can see here's my footage down here in my event which I've imported properly and um, I didn't do the perfect job of doing of with lighting my myself do, while doing this as you can see up here there are some shadows in the background and stuff like that but to be perfectly honest with you this will not really matter in the end so um, what I'm gonna do is just basically use this blank project and um, first thing that you're gonna want to do if this um, iMovie thing doesn't look familiar here what you're gonna want to make sure you do and in order to perform this task uh, the green screening task you're gonna have to go into iMovie into preferences and then up here you're going to make sure that the show advanced tools bar or box is checked this is good for pretty much everything anyways because it'll give you a couple more features in iMovie and kind of make it a bit more um, professional so you're going to want to make sure that that is showing because you know you can do like I said the green screen only if you have that checked so we're just gonna close out of that so make sure you have that that's the first thing then next thing you're gonna to want to do is have a background image as you can see here I just have this JPEG of something entitled desert so this is what I'm gonna be using for my background and this is very essential um, you know this is exactly what you're gonna to want to see in the background so if you, if you just want to do a plain white background or a plain black background what you're gonna to want to do is just have an image of that where you can put it in the background um, so basically what I'm gonna do for this is have a desert uh, in the scene so I'm just gonna drag that right over from finder over to my project window and just drop that be the first clip in the timeline now um, what you're gonna to want to do is make sure that that background clip is actually in the background you're not you're gonna to want to have this um, green screen footage in the back because that's obviously supposed to overlay it so this all makes sense it's very very straightforward and uh, iMovie does a great Apple does a great job of making iMovie very functional so now what we're gonna to want to do because you know I don't really want this Ken Burns effect it's called in the background I'm just gonna come up here and click this little um, tool here and just click the fit crop so you can do fit crop or Ken Burns but since my image um, is in 720p which essentially means it has the same aspect ratio as all movies I can just click fit and it'll it'll be perfect but sometimes you may have to crop it if your image is like a square or something like that so anyways now as you can see we have my background but um, you're obviously gonna want it to have the green screen effect last for the entire time so just in advance what I recommend doing is looking at the green screen clip and then putting it over the um, actual thing so and retiming it is what I meant to say so here we go you can see down here this is 26 seconds long so I'm just gonna double click on this and make that 26 seconds as well hit enter and we are good so now all I'm simply gonna do is select this entire clip and drag it right on top of this so now this is just gonna go I'm gonna come down here and click green screen because I do have a green screen but if you guys um, have a blue screen then of course you're just gonna click that but here we go now this is again only shown under the showing advanced tools so you're gonna wanna, you're gonna want to make sure that you check that box like I said initially so with that we're gonna let the iMovie magic happen and just drag that and put it right there now as you can see that is a gorgeous face <laughs> I'm just joking but it is a uh, there you have it guys so that pretty much does it <clears throat> as you can see I am completely in back they totally removed the green and as you can see these shadows that were there initially aren't even there um, in the back so 
obviously if you want to do it make sure like there's no little fuzziness around the the shirt the shirt or something like that you can do that um, with a little bit of lighting and you can always tweak this a little bit as well to make them look very realistic but basically guys as far as i know you know this looks much better than just something like this where you have shadows or just a blank background behind you so if you have the opportunity to do be sure that to use a green or blue screen as i think it definitely makes your videos uh, a lot cooler and just you know a bit more fun so the other thing you guys are probably asking is you know do we have to have a static image as our background and the answer to that is absolutely not you could have like a total like you could be like a newscaster and have a whole scene going on with you in the front and essentially narrating it and uh, so really the options are endless and you can also like crop your crop your image of yourself to uh to have you be in a smaller quadrant of the picture and stuff like that and so iMovie although some people may think it's not the greatest tool you can still do some great green screening effects and it's very easy to do so so I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and um, with that let me just go and pretty much end this for you so guys now that I've shown you how to use iMovie to key out blue and green screens I hope that you guys can properly use them in your videos and just make your videos a heck of a lot better so this will make them look much more professional and just have a lot of fun with different special effects that you can throw in there. So anyways guys, this is me Chris here and I'm signing out. I look forward to seeing the videos that you guys create and let me know if there's any other tutorials that you're interested in seeing. So until next time, I hope you guys take care.